Good morning. Oh. I've just uh, woken up and, you know, just, I'm, I've got my door open and I've got my coat on because I'm a bit cold and all sorts. Um, but I've got to freshen up and I'll go outside and wake up and all sorts. Um, yeah, I've had ready breaks uh, for, for, for breakfast. Um, Oh, I'm on my second cup of tea, I'm on, I'm on my second uh, weed joint, yep, here, here it is, right here, man. I, I, yeah, I, I've noticed that I've got a dislike, and you know, someone don't like what I do and all this shit, and, I can, and not many people watch me anyway, I mean, you know, it's pretty sad really, I mean, YouTube, I mean, what's going on, I mean, Oh, I don't know, really. I, I, I'm not really bothered. I mean, I don't care, really. I mean... I know, I woke up at half past three this morning. Um, and, um... I made a cup of tea, I sat down and I had a smoke, and then I looked at my phone and I thought, oh my god, look. <coughs> <coughs> Bill Beanie, the actual uh, professional football player, he played for Saints in the 70s and travelled all over the USA, um, he put his thumbs up like this, he was like, yeah, man, <laughs> great, I'm so happy about that, really, honestly. Um, Bill's a good mate. You know, we, we met at Bakers, and that's it, really. I mean, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm professional, and he's a professional, and, and we just sit there and chat, and it's great. You know, we talk about our old days and all that. Um, it's amazing, really. Yeah, Bill Beanie. Yeah. Yeah. What time is it now? Let's have a look. I've got to see the time. It's, uh, oh, it's 20 to 9. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, oh, my legs are just like, oh, they're, they're, oh, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, I've got a dislike. I, I do see what you're saying, mate. Um, I've got a, dis a dislike. I mean, it's terrible. I was talking to my mum. It's uh, probably because I said about the NHS and all that, you know what I mean? Um, NHS have really done my brain in over the years, you know what I mean? They really have. They messed me up completely. Um, they put in different section units everywhere. I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. This is really bad. I mean... I'm not settled at home at all. I'm, I'm actually just dragged around everywhere. Um, and, and you can see I don't need no medication. I mean, I'm just fine. I'm, I'm, look at me now. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not going to take any medication at all. Nothing. Um, and I feel great. I feel fine. I'm laying down because I've got my legs to think about as well. I've got, I've got, my legs are a bit dodgy and, and my uh, lower back is a bit dodgy. Um, you know, it's, I mean, I, I was listening to loads of pianos over the years and um, I don't know, I, I had a trap now a few years ago and it's, it's been the same ever since. Um, you know, it's just, it's quite bad really. Um, I mean, I, 2016 I had a stroke and I went half blind and uh, so I got rid of my freelander and... Um, and I really don't drive no more, that's it. I mean, I've still got my license, but I'm not going to use it until... Um... I just want it as a memory, you know. It's just like a, it's, it's just like a, it's like a medal. It's like, yes, these were the days, you know what I mean? It was great. Um, yeah, that's it.
I was going to go on Facebook, but I can't see the point of going on Facebook. I mean, well, I don't know. It's all right, I suppose, but... You know, I'm, I'm on Hangout in WhatsApp. I mean, I've got a lady on WhatsApp, right? One well, I minute's mean, a lady, and, and now it looks like it's probably some sort of scam or something going on. Um, yeah, I, I screenshotted loads of stuff and, and sent it around, around the world and let people see this is what I'm going through. Um, scammers and beggars and all that going on. I mean, ladies just asking for money, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, in the video, I was, I was quite uh, happy that Sandra had feelings for me. Um, she, she never showed up on Thursday like she said she would. Um, and uh, she, she did ask for $100 and all that. I mean, same as all the ladies, they, they just keep asking for money all the time. Um, it's, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you what it's terrible is. Um, ladies want money for whatever reason, different reasons. Um, And they, th they think I'm rich, I mean. Yeah, so San Sandra never did show up. Um, she's probably not even just, I mean, uh, all I've seen is a couple of pictures of her, you know. It could be anyone, it could be a Jamaican or something. I mean, I did have a Jamaican actually, it, it was instead of, it, what, I, thought it was, I thought it was Kate from Lady Scotland and it was a bloody Jamaican. Um, and he said, hello, babe, but this is, I thought, you are a man, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's funny. Actually, no, it was quite sad, really. It was terrible, because um, he had about £200 worth of gift cards off me, you know. Um, so you got to be careful. you got to be very careful. Um, so after that, I just I, I agreed with the police and the, the bank and, and the doctor, and I said, that I won't do nothing, right? I won't sell, I, I won't send no more money to no one, that's it. Um, it won't happen again. Um, One more day and I'll be getting paid. I'll, I'll be, I can't wait. I'll be really happy. Um, yeah. Max Baker's never helped me at all. Um, you know, I've been here 20 years. 20 years and I've been going into the Max Baker's and I've been sitting there giving them a £12 a day. Um, and sitting there drinking a cup of tea and uh, eating their food and all that. Um, and, and they would not give me any help at all, nothing, uh, no food or nothing. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm so, I'm, I'm devastated really. Um, I, I feel sad going there now. I, feel, I, I don't even want to go there really, but I, I, I know I've got to go there because it's the only place I can go. Um, you know, I, 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 I walk, all I can do is walk across the road and I'm, I'm out of breath and I'm, I'm in agony and all sorts of, my back is aching and everything's going to be, um, so, so it's terrible really. Um, so, so I get up the road, I, I, I go into the cop shop, I go into the chip shop and then I go and sit down at the Bats Bakers. Um, yeah, and I, I always spend between eight and 12 pounds a day. Um, yeah. But I mean, unfortunate situations occur, you know, like, I used up my overdrafts, I, I had direct debits coming out and all sorts of, um, and, and a couple of scams, uh, like, you know, a 38 pound payment was was uh, just like a scam, it was it was terrible. Um, it came out of my bank and everything, and, um, and my bank actually refunded the money to me, uh, they gave me a sundry payment of 38 pound, yeah. Um, so, so they obviously care about me. Um, yeah, respect to uh, Nationwide. Um, yeah, if you ever need to go get a bank account or anything, go to Nationwide, definitely, yeah. I, I don't rate uh, NatWest at all, because they, they were charging me all sorts, right? Um, and uh, they, they would never give me an overdraft. I, I remember that. that. That was years ago, right? Many years ago. Um, and I was so pissed off and upset. I thought, sod this. Uh, they keep saying no all the time, so, so I'm just not going to go there anymore. And I said, and I've been with Nationwide for ever since. I mean, 
you know, nationwide are amazing. Um, oh, another day where I'll be staying indoors doing nothing. Um, I've got a, a, I've got a shepherd's pie. I've got a bloody curry. Um, I've got some soups. Um, I've got probably about three pints of milk left. Um, that's it, really. Um, uh, I've got some carnation milk in a can, I think, um, somewhere. Um, if, if I do run out of milk, I mean, um, I think I'll be fine. You know, it'll be right. Um, Uh, I'm pretty knackered actually. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it's crazy. What time is it now? It's all about. It's uh, it's nearly ten to nine. I've got my door open. I'm laying on my say. Um, I've got my coat on, ready to dip outside. Um, oh, my legs are just like, oh my god. Oh. oh God! Let's unplug the phone. No game. That's it. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, I was awake at past three in the morning. I was like, Oh my God. It was great, you know, I see uh, Bill Beanie messaged me and I thought, yes, great, great, great. <laughs> I haven't got his phone number, I mean, but that's all right, it doesn't matter. Oh. Oh, come on. That's my name. Gorge seven. That's seven grams. Seven grams. Oh my god. I can't wait for coffee shops and cafes to bloody sell weed. I mean, in cannabis. I mean. It's gonna happen. It's it's, it's bad. I know it's gonna happen one day. I mean, our country is too harsh. The people are nasty. The, the, the authorities are terrible. Um,
I'm not ringing mum yet. Not, not until about 11 or 12, you know. Um, That was nice, that was a cup of tea, that was cold tea, I mean, it's alright, actually. Oh. I said hello to America yesterday. Um, yeah, U.S. Army and uh, U.S. Navy, uh, uh, the Prime, Prime Minister of uh, USA and all that, and um, uh, USA Today and uh, a few other people, you know. Um, just a, a quick hello from uh, UK uh, to, to USA, I mean, yeah. I go on Instagram and, and I actually have uh, video conferences with uh, some people from USA. I mean, and uh, they, they, they said, uh, you know, Gordy for president. I mean, Christ. You know, I mean, they actually found me quite funny and, and having a great time. You know, it's, 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 it's been good, actually. You know, it's been all right. Um, they don't just care about me. They, they, they're like, oh, don't, don't be down. You know, you're all right, mate. And how are you feeling? And all this and all that. And, um, yeah, because I mean, I don't think, I'm, I'm, I don't know, all, all the troubles I had with the NHS and thrown into section units and all that sort of stuff, I mean, Christ. Um, yeah, all that, I mean, I'll I, I tell the story to everybody, you know, I'll I, I, I tell everybody about everything. Um, and um, they, actually, they actually like me a lot, you know, that's how it is, I mean. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I got, I got disliked uh, at some point uh, on YouTube, I mean. And I don't get many followers or, or anything really, or no real interest at all. Um, but I don't care really, because I'm, I'm just fine, you know, I'm all right. Um, I've got reality in my head, I've got like all the piano customers and uh, all the happy families, and it's all there, you know, it's, it's people that I've dealt with in the past over the years. Um, Yes, so I know I can I can probably be quite good, but really, uh, maybe uh, promoting uh, legalization of weed and cannabis in, in cafes. I mean, yeah. I've got nowhere to go. I mean, it's, it's crazy, really. I've got no no friends or anything, really. Um, no, no one to go and hang out with, or um, all, I, all I've got is people over the shops, and, and you know they all like me. We go on well, for, and everything's fine. Um, all I do is go across the road, and that's it. Um, but with no money, I'm not going over there at all. Um, you know, and uh, the, I mean the way I got treated by Matt Baker was a bit sad, really. You know, it was a shame, really. It was a nice lady. She said, look. Um, no, I can't help you at all. Um, I thought, oh well, it's all right. I said, don't worry about it, it's all right. But then I got pissed off and I, I, I said how it was. And the second time with a big no, it's like, oh God, you know. Um, second time, that's twice. You know, I've asked them to help me out, right? And, and um, on one occasion, I got a little uh, jacket potato, and that was it, really. Um, uh, yeah, I, was, I had no money, you know, I'll use my own draft. I mean, I do use my own draft, that's how it is. Um, you know, so, 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 I mean, chips stop chippy. I mean, they're amazing. They, they will give me whatever I need, I mean. 
you know, I pay them all, when I get paid, and all that. It's, it's just perfect. I mean, it's great. Um, but Matt's bakers, um, they, they've got to learn to have a little bit of respect. You know, I'm, I'm 20 years in your shop all the time, um, and you, you can't help. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's, it's nuts. Um, Oh, oh, I'm going to take my hat off, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I think I need to shave my head again. White hair is appearing. Loads of it. Look at it. It's crazy. I do feel a bit tired, it's crazy, it's mad, it's, 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 um, it's now uh, three minutes to nine, I mean, it's nine o'clock, I mean, Christ, I'll be phoning my uh, aerial director in a minute, and uh, I'll be moaning at him, I'll be saying, oh, what's going on? This bloody phone I bought is, is just not giving me no internet when I go out, and I was over at the cop shop, right, and I was just, like, phoning my bank and all sorts, and um, they said, go, go on your fucking... Uh, banking app, and I, I can't because I've got no internet, I mean, I can't believe it, this phone is, it's a lot of money, it's like £1,500, it's, it's, it's got no bloody internet, I mean, Christ. There's my other phone, this is it, look, look at this, look, like, nice, good condition, it's alright actually, it's the uh, iPhone 6 Plus, um, 16 gig. Uh, I did have a little problem with uh, storage and things like that. I mean, but I've got iCloud and all that. I mean, ah, oh, whoa, oh my god, my stomach is just like, whoa, and my legs and oh my knees. Oh Jesus Christ. Whoa, let's go and move again. There we go. Here we go. That's it. That's better. Oh, another cup of tea. Oh. <laughs> I think I have coffee. Oh yeah, I found my little cups and uh, my spins. <laughs> I bought more cup, more spins. Like right? I thought, oh, okay, I don't know where these are gone. They're gone, right? And, and they're, they're around the other way. They're at the back and not the front. I thought, oh my god. There's my milk, look at that, look, it's, uh, it's half used, um, 
And I got this as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I want to, I'll try, I'd, I'd love to have some cornflakes tomorrow as well, but I mean. Well, tomorrow I'll be able to get some milk. Yeah, I'll be able to get some milk. Um, I reckon we should go outside. Um, definitely, yeah. Oh. oh, my bones. Oh, God, man, it's crazy. It's my hips and all that, and my legs and all that, and it's fucking... Oh, well, it's nice and fresh outside. Oh. Oh, oh my God. It's a bit cold, though, I'll tell you, a little bit. It's a little bit cold, yeah, definitely. It's bloody freezing, to be honest. Um, oh my god, <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, I've made a cup of coffee, but I, I need to rest my phone on it, so that's that's what I'm going to do. Uh, uh, what's this? You look handsome, dear. Oh, that's great. Thank you very much. That's nice of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. I'm pretty cool. I'm just getting old. That's all it is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm a bit fat, and I've got a lower backache because I used to pick up pianos all the time. Um, yeah, loads of families very happy with their pianos and all that. I remember um, Sarah James. Yeah, nice, nice to see you. It's great. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and cold. <laughs> it's bad. So do I join or not? I mean, I've got some weed. I should say my weed. There's my weed. Um, yep. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll just have a cigarette for now. Um, my aim is uh, to try and legalise weed and, and cannabis and, and put it in coffee shops and cafes. Um, and, you, you know, you go to a cafe and, and you, you sit down. Well, actually, no, you go, you go and uh, get yourself a, a coffee or a latte or something to eat and, and you say, can I have a joint? Um, yeah, a, a king-size paper, Rizla, you know, like... Uh, and, and they, sit, they they roll it on the counter um, with, with some tobacco and, and some weed or cannabis or whatever. And, and they bowl it and, and they say, here you go, mate. And um, and it's two pounds, right? Two pounds for a joint. Um, and, and, you know, obviously the cafes and the coffee shops, they'll they have to get licenses and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, um, yeah, licenses to sell drugs. I mean, you know, it's the way it's going to have to be. Um, and... Um, it could be very similar to Amsterdam and all that. I mean, no problem. Um, I actually enjoy a, a, jo a joint of weed and, you know, now and again sometimes. Um, I think I had one this morning. Um, I, I, uh, half past three this morning. Yeah, I woke up and, and uh, Bill Beanie had bloody responded to me and it was great. Um, I thought, yes, you know, little thumbs up and all that. We're like mates, we are. It's funny, it is. Um, Bill Beanie's a professional football player. In the 70s, he was a Saints player, right? He played in the Saints, in the Dell, and in a few other places, uh, football stadiums and all that. Uh, very professional. Um, yeah, he was all over the USA and all that. I'm just crazy. Um, yeah, and I was all over Somerset and London. <laughs> yep. This is... Oh my God. <coughs> <coughs> this is uh, tobacco. Yeah, just tobacco. Um, well, I went to come outside and get some fresh air. I mean, yeah, this jacket, right? I bought this jacket on eBay, right? But it's still bloody too tight. I mean, it's like, you know what I mean? Um, I've got to put on loads and loads of weight. Um, I really, I'm still upset with the NHS and locking me up. And I mean, they they turned up here, they come here around here, right? Stood here with bloody police and everything, and psychiatrists and doctors and all sorts. Um, yeah, people from the Southampton Council and all sorts. There was eight or nine people. I mean, and and, and they just, I said, right, I'm going to film you, and all this is going to be like that. And, and they said the police were all right. They they said, yeah, we we film you as well. Um, 
I said, well, that's great then, you know. Um, yeah. It's just memories for me, you know what I mean? It's terrible. Um, nothing like being at home, you know what I mean? When, you, when you're at home, that's it. I mean, I've been here 20 years and I, and I feel really settled. I, I feel great, you know. Um, Vivid Homes actually sorted me out of this place and... Um, Vivid Homes are pretty cool, actually. They, 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 they give me a counsellor as well. Every Tuesday, they phone me up and we have chats and all that. It's great. Um, you know, and they've given me a new bathroom as well. I've got a brand new bathroom. Um, that's pretty cool. I could have been like my dad or, or my mum, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm a bit like my mum, really. Um, yeah, because what it is, I mean, my dad, he, he, he was working all the time and he bought his house and everything. And um, Yeah, but it all got lost. I mean, it, it, his, his partner, he, he had a, a lady called Barbara. Um, they, they had a child, it was a, a, a girl, and um, I, I don't know, she had some kids anyway. And... Um, I don't, it wasn't true love at all, really, because I, I know he, he would go from where he lived in uh, Sheldon, uh, Five Whistler Road. Uh, yeah, Five Whistler Road, uh, Sheldon, Southampton. Um, that's where his house was. Um, and, um, yeah, he'd go from there to, to my mum's house, right, and sitting in, in, on a settee. He, he was always upset and stressed out, you know what I mean? Um, He, he he worked for a network rail, a British rail, and he, he he was worth like over two two hundred thousand pounds. I mean, his house was quite a lot of money, and, and yeah, def definitely over two hundred thousand odd pounds or whatever, um, or more. Um, and um, I don't know when, when we all uh, received our uh, money when he passed away and all that sort of stuff. I mean, me and my three brothers, we had eight thousand pounds each, and that's it. I mean. And not only that, my dad lent me a car, right? He lent me a car. He said, yeah, drive this, drive this. And I thought, yeah, right. So, so I drove it, but it was bloody expensive to run. And, and I had two cars. And, um, and I, I parked it at my mum's house, right? And um, one day, suddenly, uh, his, his uh, wife and or, or her kids or something or whatever, they come round and said, yeah, we've we got to take that. We've got, you know, we've got to take it and we've got to sell it and all sorts. Um, I sort of thought, oh, whatever. Yeah, right, yeah, whatever, whatever. Um, they're, they're a very greedy family, you know. Um, yeah, Barbara, that was his, his wife, and um, and Rachel, I mean, uh, Rachel, I mean, I remember when she actually uh, didn't really care about him much, because, I mean, she actually, uh, he, he got taken from his house into a police station overnight, um, all because of Rachel, I mean. Rachel White, yeah, that's it, I mean. That that family never really loved him much, all really. Um, I don't think. Um, yeah. Mum's all right though. She's fine. I mean, she, we, she, we have we we phone each other every day. You know, it's crazy. Um, I I was a bit shocked when she fell down the stairs. I thought, oh no no no, you know what I mean? Um, and she actually uh, broke her back, and she. Uh, Fractured her, her ribs, uh, probably four or five ribs, I think it was. Um, but she's got carers now, four four carers a day, um, and she's she's feeling stronger every day. She don't drink and she don't smoke. <coughs> she watches the news a lot. <coughs> um, she's always uh, watching uh, Trump and all that. You know, it's crazy, really. Um, Oh, look at me, I'm just fat, look at this, look, it's crazy, isn't it? don't think it's bad. I don't like that at all, I really hate it. Can you hear the birds? I can hear the birds.
I'm trying to sell some bloody uh, bits on uh, Facebook. Um, I've got a Boss tracksuit, uh, which is an extra, extra large, uh, but that's like no, it's three X's, um, but it's actually more like a large or an extra large. I mean, because it didn't quite fit me. Um, so I, I can, I, I'm not wearing that at all. It, I, I couldn't even get it on or anything. So, so that's it, really. Um, so, so I'm £25 for that, right? A Boss tracksuit. Um, it's, it's, I think it's a copy of Counterfeit and all that. I mean, so, so that's it, really. Um, I bought it on eBay. Um, And there's a, a Thomas Nash uh, extra, extra, extra large uh, jacket. Um, I, I just want to get rid of stuff now because I mean I bought stuff by error, really. You know, I bought these jackets for me, right? But I'm, I'm just too fat. I'm massive, you know. Um, so, so I got you know extra, extra, extra large um, Thomas Nash. Uh, quite a, a decent jacket. I, I think I paid probably twenty quid for it or whatever. Um, I, I just want ten pound for it. That's it. Um, and um, I've got like a, a DKNY, uh, that's another good jacket, uh, again around about £20 or whatever. I just want £10 for it. Um, yeah, and I've got like a, a Adidas uh, size 12 men's uh, F10 uh, trainers. Um, I did have the box, but I think I'll put that in a bin in the end. Um, but the trainers, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know really. I, I'd, I'd let them go for £15. Uh, they were forty nine ninety nine, um, but they're, 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 I'm just going to let them go for fifteen pound. That's it. Um, yeah, I, I probably well, I probably won't sell nothing. I mean, I'll probably end up giving it to a charity shop or something. Um, I've got a charity shop across the road. You know, um, my cleaners are coming round tomorrow. Um, they're just going to do bits and pieces, you know. Um, I, I might even tell them to go up the road with loads of stuff and just say, look, get rid of it all. Um, yeah, I, I'm really happy I've got cleaners, you know, it's great. You know, they're, they're my, my cleaners, you know, which I, I employ. Um, nothing to do with the NHS, no, no, nothing at all with, uh, you know, the, I mean, they, they NHS prom promised me cleaners, but they never did sort it out at all. Um, And they stopped going out with me. I mean, because I, I, when, I, when I was having uh, injections every two weeks, and, and I was having the sodium evaporating and that rubbish, and um, and I, I just thought, well, what's the point of all that? You know what I mean? Really? Um, uh, then, then I got just discharged, and, and, and now they say we can't take you out for a coffee because uh, we don't do that no more. And that's it. Um, it was Desborough House saying it, and, and, and also adult social care. I mean, they both said, uh, no, we don't do that no more. Um, we can't take you out for a coffee. We can't go out for a chat. And um, so, I mean, that's shit, really. I mean, <laughs> they've not really been in any help at all. I mean, all they've done is corrupt, corrupt me and come around my house and throw me in section units using their power, um, forcing medication on me and all sorts of shit and fucking... And here I am now uh, with no medication, no, no harassment, um, uh, employing people and feeling great. I mean, I'm I'm all right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't go out much, right? Because I'm blind on this side, right? This side, I can't see at all. Um, I'm I'm like. That's it. Um, it's it's really sad because if I'm sat in town, I, I can't see nothing. Um, and then, oh, I have bumped into people and I you know, stormed into people like bang! Oh my god! Sorry about that. Um, yeah, you know, like one lady, she's like wide-eyed and shocked and like, oh my god! Oh, sorry, sorry. You know, um, that was it really. Um, it put me off. I, it made me just stay at home. Um, I don't want to bump into people. I don't want to bump into the lamppost. So I don't want to nearly get run over by a bus, which I did did happen. Um, the the bus driver slapped his brakes on, and he's like, "Shit, man! Jesus Christ!" I said, "Sorry about that. No, I didn't see the bus. I mean, that was it, really." Um, so, so I don't go out. Um, yeah, and, and as soon as I did go uh, blind. On one side, um, I, I started donating money to uh, Blind Children UK. Um, they've been having money off me for four years now. Um, yeah, 
you know, some people in the USA think I'm going to get rich and famous and all that sort of stuff. But I mean, I, I don't know really. I mean, if it ever happens, I mean, I'll probably donate more money to the Blind Children UK. I will. Um, All, all I can think of uh, is uh, me probably getting a little bit popular if I manage to get uh, the, the government to uh, legalise weed and, and cannabis. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it probably won't ever happen at all. Um, it, I mean, it's, it's been years, uh, illegal, 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 illegal all the time. Um, but everywhere else, you know, around the world, it's, it's, it's all right. They've got shops and the cafes and everything. And it's, it's quite mad, really. Um, yeah. My question is, why should we suffer? I mean, you know, what the hell? Seriously, I'm a British man and I, I don't want to get fucking harassed and, and, you know, picked on because I enjoy a little bit of cannabis and weed. I mean, I've already had harassment from police in the NHS. I've already sectioned the pieces. I mean, yeah, 2004 to 2017, in and out of section units. I mean, I noticed oh, I've got a page on Facebook somewhere um, called uh, um, Gordy Balls. I said Gordy Balls, uh, and, and um, there's a picture of me and my brothers, um, and, and it says it says about me being schizo and all that. And I'm like, oh my god, look, I've got to change that. Really, um, I actually believed in it because I, I, I kept drumming it into my head that I'm schizo and all this and all that. And I'm like, you know, and it kept putting me in section units all the time and. Um, but I thought, no, it's a load of shit, it's a load of bullshit. It's, it's definitely rubbish. I mean, seriously. I'll probably have some soup later on, I reckon. Um, uh, what I'd like, really, is to nip up to the bakers and, and get myself a bacon and egg roll with, with uh, hash browns and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna help me at all today. Um, you know, tomorrow I'll, I'll be up there with some money and I'll buy it, I'll, I'll pay it and I'll say, yeah, thanks. You know, now give me the bloody bacon roll, will ya? Um, yeah, I'm so pissed off at them. Fucking hell, I can't believe it. Um, You know, you, if you go to the chip shop, right, uh, if you go to the chip shop chippy, um, you, you'll get respect and, and, and that they care about, you know, that they look after you and all sorts of stuff. But they know me. I mean, I've been there 20 years, so, so I mean, they would give me whatever I want. Um, but they were shut, so that's it, really. Um, Yeah, so I had no pizzas or nothing. Um, I've had this table and chairs, right? Years, many, many years. I mean, sat here, really. It's, it's great. I love it. It's, it's amazing. Um, uh, 
synopsis, uh, daily old, I was just uh, weekly report available on your average. Oh, I'll, I'll see it as something. Oh, I don't know what it is. Um, I'm only doing videos because what it is, I can't do live videos for some reason. Um, I'm not popular really. I'm, I'm just like, I'm just an ordinary guy. That's it. I mean, I'm not famous. I'm not a TV star or nothing. I'm not a celebrity or anything really. <coughs> I'm the piano man. <coughs> that work for RHP Pianos um, in Southampton. Um, before the internet and mobile phones and all that. And um, I, I remember all the happiness, you know, all the, all the good times. Um, yeah, so, so I'm quite happy. This is tobacco, I'm just smoking it, I'm loving it. It's nice, it's, it's great, yeah, it's all right. It's... I've been smoking since I was at school. Um, when I was 14 years old, I was a bloody member of secondary school, right? Um, and that was my school. And, and Bill Beanie used to go to my school, right, and, and train people to play football and all sorts. Um, he's, he's 66 and I'm 53. Um, and we both passed our driving tests at Green Lane, Millbrook. Uh, it was, it's, quite, it's funny, really. Um, we got on so well, it's crazy. Oh, that's what we eat. I'm, I'm just like, oh, I'll have that later, probably, you know. If you want to come around, I can sell you a packet of tobacco. I've got loads of tobacco. I'm all right. Um, I'll do you a packet, £10 a packet. Um, If I get anyone come round to buy anything of me, I'll be up at Baker's and I'll be buying something. <laughs> yeah, I, I always go there and spend money on whatever, all sorts really. Um, there's a cup of tea, coffee. Actually, it's coffee. Oh my god. I do get lonely sometimes. I'm I'm really stressed out because I I just don't, I'm I'm shy. I'm just like I don't go out mixing with different people. I mean, I I, I don't know really. Um, and now I'm very fat. I'm, I'm I've got a lower back ache. I don't walk very far at all. Um, I, I struggle to get up at shops and back again. Um, uh, I'm half blind, and, and uh, it's it's been hell going to section units and all that. And I mean. After some, for some time, I was I was just like a mental patient. I thought, oh my god, this is crazy. You know, it's, it's, it's nuts. It's, it's insane, really. Um, it's raining. I can hear the rain. Oh ha ha. I'll give you a little tour around my back garden and round the front and everything. I'll show you everything. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is where I live. Legs, oh my god. <laughs> I'm so fat, I can't believe it. It's, it's nuts. There's my garden. It's, it's all right, actually. It's pretty cool. You know, it's, 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 it's pretty good. Um, there's, I sit there quite a lot. Um, yeah, I sit here quite a lot and... Um, I like to sit down there sometimes, or some sat down there, you know. Um, 
Yeah, this is around the back. Oh, and I, I, I hobble along. I don't, I don't actually walk no more. I, I hobble along. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so fat. It's just, it's mad, really. Oh, this is round. Yeah, this is it. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> I do like it here. It's great, you know. Um, yeah. That cup is terrible. <laughs> Look at that. It's terrible. That's mad. Oh, oh my God. I think I'm making another cup of tea now. Mushroom soup. Nice. I'll tell you what I did. This is what I opened last night. Um, this is uh, salmon. Salmon, yeah, salmon. I think I have a bit of that, yep, definitely. Um My back is aching. I can tell you now, my back is aching. I can feel it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not smoking the weed yet. I'm a bit tired.
24 to 10. Yeah, look, this is the bottoms of the tracksuit, right? No, no. <laughs> and there's the trainers. Fifteen pounds. They're normally forty nine ninety nine, and I just want fifteen pound for them. That's it. Um, yeah. This is jacket. This is uh, DKM Moy. There's the uh, the. Uh, Tracksuit button. Uh, this is the top of the tracksuit. Um, yeah. It's not been worn at all. I mean, it's an extra, extra, extra large, but it's more like a large or an extra large. No, no more bigger than that, really. Um, I, I, I tried the top on it. It was a bit of a tight fit, so it's no good to me at all. Um, and the, the leggings, I couldn't even get my legs in. Uh, that was it, really. Um, this is uh, right. This is um, uh, Thomas Nash, right? Extra, extra, extra large, right? Uh, just ten pounds. I mean, that's it, really. Just ten pounds. I think I paid about twenty pound for it, or, or something like that. Um, yeah, for that, and, and also the uh, DKNY. I mean, that was about twenty pound as well. Um, but it's all right. I'm not, I'm not going to keep buying uh, stuff that don't fit me. I mean, and I couldn't be bothered to send it all back. So, so I thought, well, I don't know. I don't know. And it is more tobacco. Um, yeah, I could do you one of these uh, ten pound a packet. No problem. I don't normally sell tobacco and, and uh, I don't sell any weed or cannabis or anything really. Or I don't sell nothing um, really. Um, it's just like at this moment in time I've got no money at all. I mean that's it really. I'd love to go to the bakers and just sit there over an hour. Have a cup of tea, you know, probably buy a few bits. Um, I always sit there and I spend between eight and ten pounds, or sometimes twelve pounds a day. Um, and I just enjoy sitting there. That's it. And um, I was just in shock when when they decided not to help me at all. Um, they wouldn't give me anything. Um, I was I was shocked. I was like, oh my god, that's terrible. Um, I mean, if, if I had a customer that uh, was struggling, um, I would probably look him after. I'd look after him. Um, I'd probably still give him a piano and say, like, you know, whatever, we'll do something. Um, yeah. I 
I'm a great, but I, I used to get good feedback all the time, right? Um, so I know how good I was. Um, uh, but I mean, like I say, I mean, Matt's makers, I mean, they, they should really consider what they're doing. Um, they, they wouldn't give me the head office, they wouldn't give me the phone number, so I, I couldn't argue. Um, I just had to talk to these ladies at the bakers, and that's it, really. Um, one lady actually said, "Well, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, if you really, if you want to find up the head office, I'll, I'll give you a bloody uh, jacket potato, and that was it." Um, and I mean, that's all I got, really. Four pound fifty, I had to pay. I, if, 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 I felt it in my stomach, but it, it was, I could have done with a bit more food, really. Um, so I owed him uh, four pound fifty, and I paid him uh, when I got paid and everything. And it, it was great, you know. Um, but I, I, I told him, I said, "Look, I was still hungry. I mean, I, got, I could have done with a bit more, um, you know." Um, and that was some time ago. I mean, I remember that. And and, and yesterday or the other day, whenever it was, um, I got a big no. It was like no, 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 no. Can't happen at all. Um, I thought, oh Jesus Christ! And it, it made me plaster shit about it. Matt's bikers everywhere. I mean, I was like, oh my god, seriously. If you look at my Facebook, you'll see um, there's a story that says about uh, Matt's bikers and everything. It's crazy. Um, no care, no 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 compassion, nothing. Um, I was like, it's customer service, you're joking. They don't even know what it is. I mean, this music sounds all right. I'm, I'm quite like that. That's nice, actually. Uh, I don't know what that is, but um, it's all right. It's probably mixed out. Um, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Um, I'm on Twitter on my laptop. Uh, where are we? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mixed cloud. Yeah, it's mixed cloud. Oh. I'm, I'm so fat. I'm really pissed off about being fat. It's terrible. Um, I used to be slim and I was walking to my mum's and all sorts, I was like fit as a fiddle. Um, listening to Oasis and Blair and all that and just like loving it and great, you know, I was, I was like, and, and also uh, Lucy Forever, right, um, Fur, you know, uh, F-U-R, right, if you, yeah, just type Lucy Fur, right, F-U-R, uh, ever, um, you'll, you'll get a really banging tune, um, it's great, it's, it's amazing, um, yeah. Yeah, and I went, I went to Des House and with my mum and all that, and went. And we had a meeting with an old lady, and the old lady says, "Get in the ambulance," and I went, "Yeah, go on in." Bit of rest and relaxation, yeah, go on in. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll say what. Oh, I don't know, really. I, I can't believe what they've done to me. You know what I mean? Um, I remember when everyone was clapping at 8 o'clock at night. Um, I was not clapping at all. I was like, no way am I going to clap at fucking, you know, all that to, for, you know, the NHS and all that sort of stuff. I mean, what the hell? I, I really didn't like them at all. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm still fucking, oh, you know what I mean? You've got to be careful with the NHS. I mean, they don't know what they're doing. Um, No doubt I'll probably get more people not like me, you know, and all this, like, you know. I, I don't really care. I mean, I'm just sitting here telling you the truth, that's it. Um, I had to go very public with my life because it was getting too much for me to deal with. I mean, I couldn't handle it. I mean...
and they confiscated my phone and my iPad and all that. I mean, all the time it was just. Uh, I'll go into a section unit somewhere and before you know it they know to take my phone and, and get me off the internet um yeah that's it really <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm bloody terrible really um yeah Well, it's now quarter ten. Um, if I was going back in time, um, I'd be now preparing myself to drive down to the uh, Bitten, uh, to the train station and go to the warehouse and um, just go and have a look at the pianos and see what's what. And, um, and maybe have a little chat with some of the staff and all that. Uh, there might be some tuners or polishers or whatever. It might have been uh, Nessie. <laughs> yeah, Nessie. I mean, I employed her, right? I got, I got her on the piano uh, mop. Uh, on, on a mop and it's a mop that goes round and round and, and we just clean the piano keys like this right and, and I've got her on that and um, yeah we had some fun um, yeah she, she's alright I've not seen her for years um, yeah she got pregnant and all sorts uh, we, we had some fun in the warehouse I mean it was mad um, yeah it was crazy I gotta lose this weight. I, 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 gotta, I gotta lose it. Um. <sighs> if I'd have smoked a joint, I, I'd be laying down again. I'd be like, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. Um. I can imagine all these uh, coffee shops and cafes would be probably selling just one or two joints to, to your a customer. Probably no more than that, really. I mean, you know, the, the, I can imagine a lot of families would probably just have a little quick smoke and and, and, and be all right with tobacco and, and, and smoking tobacco. I mean, you know, I mean, the idea is to, just to relax the, the situation, you know. Uh, you know, soften up the country a little bit and, and uh, make it a bit better. And, you know, I, 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 well, the experience I can say is um, uh, going over from t where, where I live here, right, in my Freelander, going over to uh, pick up a bit of smoke in, in Lord's Hill and, 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 and then going to uh, Bersington to see uh, uh, Wendy Poulton and, and uh, Sean Collison. Um, yeah, because I used to live near my old house, which I used to live in, Bersington. Um, and I, I, I signed that over to uh, my ex-partner, Melissa Jordan. Um, and Melissa Jordan um, was my daughter's uh, mum. Yeah, that's it. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I was sat here and I, I, I'd go and see Wendy and Sean and all that. Like, you know, Sean liked to have a drink and um, he's into football and all that sort of stuff. And... Uh, Wendy, well, she, she shouts at her kids and all that all the time. Uh, she was always shouting at her kids all the time, man, you know. And, and she'd have a smoke on some cannabis and she was fine after that. She was she was perfect. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I reckon 
from what I see, I mean, I, I reckon there's going to be a lot of families, uh, all probably normally uh, shouting at the families and you know, families you know, shouting at their kids and all sorts and going crazy. And um, suddenly, uh, the whole country would be different. It'd be like people would be relaxed. They'd be going to the coffee shops and they'd be having a smoke on a joint and, and they'd be like, yeah, I feel great. You know, I love my family. I love my, my, my kids. I, 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 love, I, I love my uh, friends. Uh, Everything's great, you know. That's what it's going to be like. It's, it's, it's going to be nice. It's going to be uh, pleasant. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be. It's going to be great, you know. Um, yeah. You hear about my ma imagination all the time. It's, it's my, my imagination. It's, I mean, I used to think about my, my customers all the time, and, and you know, RHP pianos and all that, um, and, and all the customers and what they want and, and all their needs, and uh, and uh, all the schools. I mean, they they would buy a piano and um, and have pia pianos in the schools and all that, and um, and they would say, Go "Get a piano at your home" and all that, and. Um, yeah, it was national cu curriculum. Uh, it was like time to go and buy a piano. Um, yeah, you're, you're you're having lessons at school, so uh, get a piano at home. Um, and, and, and families would contact us, and, and we would turn up with pianos, and that was it. Um, yeah, it was great. Um, yeah, so you can imagine there was happy families everywhere. Um, you know, kids playing the pianos and uh, learning how to play and all that and uh, trying different pianos and uh, there was pi pianists who, who were very experienced and uh, playing really well and, and all that. I mean, they, they were amazing. Um, um, oh, what's going on now? Oh, my God. What have we done? Jesus Christ, where's that music gone? Oh, oh shit. What the hell? So let's get rid of that. Um, oh, what's... Meh. Oh my God! I'll tell you what. <laughs> I know what I would do. I know, I know where I'm now. Let's see. Here we go. Look at this. Let's. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. Now think about this. Right. I'm on Twitter. Right. Uh, I'm. I'm the real stone driver at Comedy Section UK. Uh, I, I set it up in the section unit. Um, and um, wants to send you a message. Oh, Sarah James. Okay. Um, that's fine. That's on Instagram. Um. Yeah, I, I, I was sat in the section unit and I come up with the uh, real stone driver at Comedy Section UK. And, and at the same time, there was the Wild Stone Raider. Raider. Um, uh, when was that? Let's have a look. That uh, was 2014. Um, yeah, no, I loved it. It was great, you know. Um, and and it's, it's really made me think about things. It's made me, well, it, we, can, we can add some fun. Uh, to my uh, Twitter and uh, have the real stone raver and, and play that tune and, uh, and and you know and just keep on raving at the government about legalisation um, and, and talk to the whole world about everything really and, and just say look you know we've got to wake up and we've got to soften up this uh, country and not be so nasty and horrible um, yeah I mean the, the authority is, is pretty well strict strict very strict um, yeah they're, they're impossible um yeah. I'm the real stone raider. You might know who I am. Cause after all the fans. Two of these rappers have got no kids and no fans. That's why I'm here. The real stone raider. Real stone raider. I've got some speakers, but they're not working because I updated my phone. And no, not my my, my phone. I updated my laptop and um. Suddenly, Cortana is, is not available in UK. I mean, that's that's crazy. Um, and uh, my speakers are not working, and um, and my TV's muted uh, for some reason. All, all this has happened since I updated my laptop. Um, so I've got to get all this sorted out. Do you want some? <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's great. You know. 
I've got no fans. I've got, I've got no friends. I've got, I've got no likes. Or, or, yeah. This is terrible, really. Actually, I've got a few likes, but I mean, I've, I've got dislikes as well. I mean, people that don't like me. I mean, deal with you. Deal with you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, the real Stone Raver at Comedy Section UK. <laughs> I could give you a joint, I suppose. I mean, I could roll you a joint and we could sit down and chat. I mean, if you want to pop around and have a smoke with me, I'll roll you a joint. I mean, that's it. <laughs> I want to meet this guy. Yeah, I really do, you know. Um, it's so, like... It's, well, I can't believe it. I mean, it's, it's just like... It's, 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 it, was, it was a football-related uh, uh, issue, I think. I'm sure it was. And um, But um, it's so drug-related, you know what I mean? It's like, do you want something? It's like, wow. It's funny, really. <laughs> do you want some? Yeah. I'll give it yeah. Real Stone Raver. Real Stone Draver. Yeah, I'm the Real Stone Draver. <laughs> the Real Stone Draver at Comedy Section UK. <laughs>